If you are an artist and you are wondering how do I put my songs out on streaming platforms how do I put my song on Spotify on Apple Music and if you're stuck in a place where you have no idea how to upload them I've got you covered in this video In today's video we'll be learning how to upload your own songs on any streaming platform and today we'll specifically be looking into this website called DistroKid and we're doing everything through this particular website The first and foremost thing is that you yourself can not upload your own songs onto Spotify. It is not like Instagram where you just have a plus symbol and you just click it and upload your song. That doesn't work with streaming platforms. For any streaming platform, if you need to upload your song to their site, you need to use third parties, okay? So there are multiple ways by which you can do it. Like I said, DistroKid is one among that. There's another website also called TuneCo. Why I am going to talk about DistroKid today is because I have been using it for quite some time and I've always had things smoothly done through DistroKid and that is the reason why I want to share the same thing with you as well. Stay around till the end of this video so that you will get a promo code that you can use and get discounts through DistroKid. So without any delay, let's get started. So this is how DistroKid looks like the moment I log into my account, okay? I already have two songs. Now I'm going to upload another song. So I'm going to show you the entire process. So the first and foremost thing that you would want to do is just go over to upload music. Just click that. And we're going to fill this entire form. So the first thing is services. So it's basically asking you where and all you want your song to be uploaded. It's better you click everything, okay, except for YouTube music. So the reason why I don't choose YouTube music is I prefer uploading it on my YouTube alone. That's the reason why I don't want it through YouTube music. And yeah, Snapchat is also fine. So do you own 100% of the publishing rights for this release? So yes, I do own all the 100% of my publishing. So I'm going to click yes. Next is number of songs. So just choose one. Has a single been previously released? Obviously, it's not been released, so it's no. Artist or band name? This is already inputted. So it's flow of music. And you can see here that under Spotify, the question is artist already in Spotify. And there's a tick mark for me. Now, this is because during my first release, that is back in time, I had to input the name of the Spotify account that I wanted to have. So at that time, I had to input all those things. The second time when I had another release, which was Crown Has Fallen, I linked it directly to my account. Once that is done, you don't have to, you know, always go search your account and link your song to that. It directly comes to you, okay? So that is why I have a tick mark over here. Don't worry if you are a first time, you know, doing this. You might have to put in the name of the Spotify account that you would want to have. So do that process, get familiar with it. So that second time when you have a release, you will understand how this is happening. Okay. Artist already in Facebook. No, I don't have a Facebook account. So I just click no. Setting your release date to at least one week in future increases your chance of getting added to playlist. Now we are uploading it in a lot of websites. Correct. So we are uploading it on Spotify. TikTok, on Instagram, Apple Music, iTunes, Amazon and a lot of other places. Each platform has its own time duration to evaluate your song and it is not the same for all the websites okay for all the streaming services it's not the constant duration. So typically around a week a week and a half uh, time is needed for every streaming platform to validate or verify your song. Always it's better that you give a month's time for your release date so that throughout all the streaming platforms you will have a tick mark and you will be able to see your song on all streaming services on the same day. If you have your release date really close by like two days, three days, maybe you'll have your song on Spotify but not on Apple Music. Okay, so there's that imbalance, right? So make sure you give at least a month's time, release times. 6.30 p.m. So usually 6.30 p.m. is the time that I generally upload stuff on YouTube or Instagram, wherever I upload things. And then now I have time synchronization, Spotify only. I've basically got two options. One option is 6.30 in the listener's time zone. In Indian standard time, at 6.30, your song will come out. The other option you have is 6.30 p.m. in New York. And simultaneously, all other countries at the same time. Let's just choose this. So next, we have pre-order. So no, don't let anyone buy it unless it's the release date. Yeah, this is fine. Record label. So basically, you can type whatever you want if you're not under a recording label. So I'm just going to put flow of music. Language is actually the language of this song is in Telugu. It's okay if your language doesn't pop up 
work there you can just leave it to english choose a primary genre and secondary genre I'm just going to choose this. Now you have your album cover. Always make sure you read all of these guidelines before you complete your artwork and uh, follow all the, you know, dimensions that they've mentioned. Song title. Make sure you only give the title of your song and don't add artists or any other information. For that you have another section, okay? The next thing is add featured artist to your song title. Yes, I want to add add version info to your song this is a normal version so this is fine upload your audio file so this is the place where you upload your track next we have dolby atmos or spatial audio no then you have songwriter i wrote this song songwriter's name so for music and i'm going to put another songwriter for lyrics does the song have explicit lyrics no is this is a radio edit it's clean it's always been clean this song contains lyrics so i have lyrics in the song preview clip start time so if you want people to listen to a preview of a specific portion of your song you can do that so let me specify when the good part starts so let's just listen to our track and choose a time itunes and amazon i'm just going to leave it to whatever it already has and then let's do artist mapping so ensure featured artists are linked correctly in streaming services the artist whom i collaborated with doesn't have a spotify profile yet so i'm going to click this no next next come down i usually don't give all these things it basically helps you to market your music a little bit more or normalize stuff i just leave it to be like that important check boxes number one is i have opted to snapchat and confirm that i possess the necessary rights so i've clicked that i recorded this music and i'm authorized to sell it in stores that's true next i'm not using any other artist name in my name song title or album title without their approval that is true and i have read and agree to all the terms and conditions just review everything once so it might take a while to finish verifying and uploading your artwork and your song so let's just give it the time This is how you can upload your songs to streaming platforms. And like I said, give it that one month time for all the streaming services to accept and to release your song at the same time. So if you have any more doubts, put it in the comments. And if you have any other better ways of uploading your songs apart from DistroKid, do let us know in the comments so that we can all grow as a community. If you would also like to join DistroKid and if you would like to upload your songs through DistroKid, I have a special code for you which will give you a 7% discount when you choose a plan. okay and distrokid is based on subscriptions so you will get a 7% off if you click one of my links below the link is in my description so you can just check that out if you would like but in the meantime i hope this video was useful go make music have a great time and i'll see you guys in another video